like it. Hi folks, I'm Nath with Two Guys and Ride. Today Rob and I are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at the SEMA show. We're here with Corey and we are at Off Grid Trailers. Man, Corey, I've been drooling walking around this thing, so tell us what it is. So right here we have the Expedition 2.0. Okay. It is one of our three models. So this is a sleep-in, off-road capable, all-metal overland camping trailer. You know, the, the, the thing you can't help but absolutely stands out like a lightning bolt is just how high off the ground it is. So that's because of our all-new OGT Evolution Series suspension by Fabtech Motorsports. Okay. So, what? I mean, tell, tell us a little, a little bit about that suspension. So, you get 8 inches of wheel travel. Ooh. You're going to get 24 inches of ground clearance in the middle. It's a trailing A-arm design. It's got a 2 and a quarter inch Dirt Logic shock and a coil spring that's designed specifically for the trailer. That's that's something you can pull off-road then. Yeah. And not yeah. worry so about we, it. We put some 35 inch tires on it for SEMA. Okay. Normally you'll get a 265, 70, 17, so okay. a 31. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can fit up to a 35. We oh. tow it behind our Gladiator here that's got 37s on it and it looks pretty good. I bet it looks <laughs> awesome. Now, uh, I, I noticed in the back here, you can kind of get a good view, but it's got a leveling system so these are stabilizing jacks. Okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is find leather, level ground, find a rock, stack them up, and then you can put those down to kind of stabilize the whole unit. Okay. Um, in the back, you're gonna have a 50 degree departure angle, which is significantly more than oh, any truck, Jeep, or oh, anything on yes. the market. Oh, yeah. So what you a, don't have to worry about that. Man, you got a two inch receiver. Two inch receiver, so you can put a bike rack back there okay. or anything like that. Um, if it's legal to double tow in your state, you can, but you okay, know, deal with your local authorities on that one. Right, right. Uh, shelving back here. So all these shelves are adjustable, so you can slide them up and oh, down and fit whatever sure. size of bin, box, however you want okay. to organize your gear. A lot of the Overland market is really about organizing gear. <laughs> so whatever you want to put in here, you can slide these up or down and make sure it fits. Okay. Now we're gonna come. Well, we'll come back to the kitchen. Oh, That'll around. be easier. Right. Yep. So, outdoor shower. So this with, is a shower enclosure. Water. Yeah, we have a hot water on demand system. So, do you does do you uh, do your company make this as well? So these we get from 230. They're ah, a partner of ours. Okay, right. And that's um, where the tent it, That's where you can the get awning, the tents and awnings. One? Yeah. And if you sell a tent, that's where it we comes from. We have tents from. and awnings from them as well. Okay. Yes. So tell us what we got right here. So back here, this is where you have your Propex heater. Okay. So this is a 6500 Pro 6500 BTU propane heater, okay. which will heat your cabin. Which is our oh, tenant. it is a heater. So it's it's our tent insulated with the heater. So okay, up in Canada it's minus forty below Celsius and. Hey, come on now, Minnesota it's like minus sixty five. Uh -huh. We beat Canada. No, I'm joking. All right. And then you got your hot water and demand system. So this is also propane. Okay, that's for that that that's for if you get really cold at night and then you come outside in the freezing weather you want and a get cold a warm shower. You can. Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's amazing though. I mean, look how compact that is. Yeah. I mean, and this just. This, this swings out. This must just pull up. So it folds in okay. and then rolls up, tucks into this little bag, and then and then it just snaps in. on. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> Man. Okay. Um, this is just I'm assuming a marker light. This is right a marker here? light. Yeah. Okay. So all of our fenders and these are steps, so you can hop on this one oh, right up to the roof. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking here they're little shelves, but they're oh, actually steps. steps. So climb up. Well, so that makes all the sense up, in the world. Yeah. Because yeah. what a rack system you have up on top there. So it's got a thousand pound load rating. Wow. That's Static a lot of rating. kayaks. That's a lot of bikes. A lot of, <laughs> a tents, lot of bikes. A lot of, you know, I mean, a couple people in a tent. Or your neighbor's trailer. I don't know. Yeah. We can put, <laughs> that's huge. Wow. Okay. Then you got a uh, door light. Yeah. Okay. You got lighting tell, on both sides. Tell us about the inside here. So this is a queen size mattress. It's uh, large. Comes standard with a four inch foam. Okay. You can go up to a six inch. Oh, which is okay. An option. Okay. Um, and then inside you have shelving all along the back. This one we have the AC rough in. It's it works with the Zero Breeze Mark II air conditioner. Okay. Um, and then you have the TV option, some shelving. So fire. you can actually have an AC. Yes. Without a generator. Yeah, it runs on the 12 volt batteries. It's a portable, it's a small really? portable Really? But you don't have much space to cool. Exactly. And it's right? well insulated, so yeah. it'll keep With it cool tenants, longer. Man. All right. And hey, you got a, a fan? That's a max fan. fan. 
Okay. So you can just get some airflow coming yeah. in and out. Which on a lot of days, that's all you that's need. That's all you need. Uh, shelving right here, is that yeah. what that is? Okay, fire extinguisher, of course. Smoke detector, carbon what? monoxide. What's the remote for? Is that that's just- for the max fan. Oh! So it's battery, it's a uh, remote operated. There's 10 speeds. Nice. You can open it, close it without getting up out of bed. You know, I, I hadn't realized this, Corey, but this is like the perfect level to just sit right it's down a good on. Sit. Yeah. And then you just scoot your butt back in. I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but I mean, that is actually a really nice, really nice feature. Okay. Uh, you got, of course, a lockable door sure. yep. on both sides. Yeah. So these doors we actually design and build in house. Okay. Um, essentially, what happened was during COVID, supply chain issues, we couldn't get the doors we used to use. Yeah. So we decided why not build a better, stronger door? So these things are, they're actually designed after an ambulance door, which oh, is, really? we had a, our designer used to work for like designing ambulances. Okay. And he sort of found that these were the, the best doors that he's ever seen. So yeah, they're super durable, super strong. You can slam huh. them. Yeah, there's no tinny sound there. Yeah. Man. Of course, and then you've got uh, a screen on the yeah, inside. So if you want to so uh, slide open and slide close. Okay. Um, all of our latches have a dual latching system to get nice and snug into this. Okay. Weather stripping. So weather, so yep. You're going to go that way and then it sucks right in. So that is not so just a... the dust out, keeps the water out. Ah, so it's a two-step. Yeah. Okay, of course, here you have your... You your... two 12-volt batteries. Okay. This is a 2,000-watt inverter. Yep. Okay. Um, that's optional. It comes standard with a 1,000-watt inverter, but okay. we have a couple options for you depending on what your power needs are. Right. And you got a little bit more storage, more but you storage. can, or you could, I don't know if you, you could put more, more batteries, batteries if, you, if want. you want to. You can upgrade to lithium. You can do all sorts of things up here. Okay. Uh, and then so this right is up here, just, just more storage area yeah. up here. So you okay. You can either put, you know, a big tote up there, throw your firewood up. Another tire. Another tire, whatever you want to do. Oh, man. Okay. Let's talk about the hitch. Yep. Uh, two, two things struck me. First of all, this, because you can. You can so lengthen you can unbolt these yeah. and then slide it out to another set and that's, then have it longer. So right. what that's for is sometimes when people have a Jeep with a spare tire on the back, because of the articulation, you end up with your tires touching depending on what you're going up okay. and over. So you might need that a little bit more, more clearance. This. <laughs> so it, yeah, rotates This is 300, the whole thing because degrees. you're off-roading because yeah. you, it's going to be at different angles. Yeah. And oh, okay, that makes all sense in the world. I'm gonna call this the airplane front tire because it reminds me of a front, I mean, just the way it's designed, the dual wheels. Yeah. So what was the purpose of going, I'm, I'm assuming dual wheels, you want more traction. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, it's it's more just, it's a, a bigger, beefier jack. It's gonna roll better on rough surfaces. Oh, okay. Um, and then it's adjustable. So you can you slide this up. Yep. And then this comes out and it flips up and your wheel sits up here tucked way out of the way. Oh. So you're not going to clip your jack right. when you're going okay. over rock. All right. Very similar to a, a, a boat yeah. trailer where you can yeah. do that. Just okay. a, a little a little more off-road. A little more robust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most boat trailers aren't, aren't that robust. Okay. Now, uh, coming over to this side, I know we, we kind of started here, but this, this is, is a fridge freezer. So it's, okay. this is a dual zone. So if you Two look zone. inside, you've got the fridge on one side, the other side's the freezer. Okay, so right here where the, where the yeah. lid is. Oh, wow. So up on the front here, you can set the temperatures independently. It's off right now, but. Okay. Um, so you you could set them both to freezer, both to fridge. You can kind of choose. Oh, really? You, you can't, you, it'll actually. Yeah, you can pick the temperature, so. Oh, wow, I just didn't realize the fridge would actually go that cold. Okay, yeah. wow. That is sweet. Okay, let's talk about the uh, kitchen right here because this yeah. is quite the setup. So, this is this is one of the unique designs to us. So, this here, I'll come to the other side real quick. So, it folds up into here huh. and it's fully outside of the trailer. So, you're not going to lose any interior space like you get with those right. slide outs or right. any of that. And then it just latches and then you come down, slide it in. And you got a dual burner stove, sink with hot and cold water. Man, that is just really, because that just pops up and there you yep. go. And then this is a spice rack and then you put your paper towel up here. And this has a 30, what gallon? Fresh 31 water? 31 gallons of fresh water. That's a lot. It's a lot of water. That's a lot for a trailer. Yeah. For a small trailer. Yeah. That's a lot of water. If, if you're not, if you don't believe me, check out some RVs. Yeah, yeah no, then, that, is, that's, that's a, a good that's a good size. Okay, your burner controls yep. right here. This and is then a radio. You, and then yeah, so you Bluetooth, have the, you can connect it to your phone. Yeah. 
play your Spotify or yep. whatever you want to listen to. We see these on both uh, very yep. often. Then your speakers are up. Is this no, your? So no. The, this is the speaker. Oh, from right here. Back. And then those are the oh. port. Those are your vent ports for your AC inside. Oh. So you unscrew those. Hey, and you also got a light in here. Yeah, we got a light there. Yes. So yeah, it shines right down on you while you you're cooking. Cook in the night, and you're you don't want to the cook to get messed up. Exactly. Talk to us about the awning a little bit. What material so, is this? So this is a 270 degree awning. It's by, I love it. Uh, 230. So they're a partner of ours that okay. we work with closely on all of our fabrics, really. So the shower enclosure, tents, okay. the awning. Yep. Um, it has what they call LST, so light suppression technology. Okay. Which, if you're ever out in the sun, you'll f you can feel the difference of the temperature under here under versus here. under okay. other awnings. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, I love, what do you think, it's 270 degrees? Yeah, so it goes right from the front all yeah, the way Yeah, to, to the very to the very back. I yeah. mean, that is just so nice to have that. I mean, that gives you so much area outside. Totally. And you can actually get a wall kit, so you'll zip in the sides and have a little room outside if the weather's bad. Oh, like a, like a screen? It's a solid material with a screen um, Some like screen panel. cutouts, okay, yeah. for, for ventilation. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah. Holy buckets, man. I tell you what, I, I, I don't think I'd hesitate to take this off-road. I just gotta find the vehicle to attach to it. Oh, well, there's plenty around here. Yeah, that isn't there though. Oh man, I tell you what, Corey, thank you so much thank for taking you. us on a tour here uh, with off-grid trailers and this particular model. We sure appreciate your awesome. time. Thank you. Thanks for watching.